Gary Stein along with Stevenson head coach Ed Hoddle following the Mustangs 37 nothing win over Misericordia and you know coach first of all congratulations on the win number one you know Sedgwick and all the offensive players are going to get the headlines but let's start with the line of scrimmage the offensive line did a tremendous job today I know you've re revamped it a little bit just talk about their play and how that led to what happened well I think it's it's been a work in progress and you know, starting the season with so many young guys and getting them the game experience has been huge against, you know, some pretty high caliber competition over the last five weeks. And, you know, they've gotten better every week and I think they're going to continue to grow and continue to get better. And you know, they had a great day today and you know, super proud of that group. And that quarterback is Ryan Sedgwick, number 12, 23 of 31 today for over 300 yards, four touchdown passes, no interceptions, clean line. Talk about him and what he was able to do today. Well, we had talked to him, you know, a great deal over the last couple of weeks about taking care of the football ball um, you know the, the long touchdown there at the top of the fourth quarter you know, he threw it away on second down and, and I told him that was arguably the most important throw of that possession mm. was you just throw it away not try to squeeze it into a tight window and then you give yourself a chance to have success and the very next play he was able to connect with Steven so you know really proud of his of his progress and um, again you know just just another step in being the best football team we can be and nice concentration for Brandon Booz on those two goal line receptions looked like they were mirror images of one another one in one end zone and the other one in the other yeah Brandon's uh he's a phenomenal player um you know, one of the hardest workers we have. You know, he's an all-in guy, and you know, it, it doesn't surprise me to see him make plays. He and I joke about that every once in a while. Um, you know, because we've got some dynamic guys on the outside, and you know, all he does is show up every day and go to work. And um, you know, the, the plays like that are a byproduct of his work ethic. And again, super proud of him. I thought your defensive line did a great job of holding, obviously, but was very impressed with the athleticism of your linebackers and your DBs, really making plays on the ball today. Well, I think that that goes back to. Um, you know, the, the scheme that Coach Nelson put them into and allowing them to play free and allowing them to just play football and not think. And, um, you know, to those guys' credit, they went out and executed the game plan, you know, almost to perfection. And, you know, when you got football players that are just playing and not thinking, you know, that that's the optimal circumstance for us. And, um, you know, again, getting better every week and, and understanding we still got a lot of football to play. Two more questions for you. you. You and I talked over the week. You wanted your team to come out with balance and confidence. You had a week off, mm -hmm. the bye week, to instill that. Just talk about what happened over the last couple of weeks off the field with your team to get them ready for today. Well, I think it's, you know, just a matter of getting them to believe in themselves, you, you know, and having an understanding of, you know, who we are and where we sit currently. And, you know, we've played some really good football teams and we've played some really good football. It doesn't show in wins and losses. Um, but we've played some really good football. We've done some good things, and you've got to go out and believe in yourselves. And, um, you know, that's where a lot of the work has been. And, and it is a lot of it just going back to the fundamental stuff that we always talk about, blocking, tackling, um, you know, and, and believing in the guy to your left and the guy to your right and, and going out and playing hard for him. And so now homecoming next week here at Stevenson, Widener is good. They're 5-1. and one. They're one of the few schools, actually, that own a winning record against Stevenson all time. So big week next week. You guys want to continue on as far as homecoming and a tough opponent. Sure. Um, you know, we haven't had a chance to look at any of the film yet. Um, but, you know, I, I would anticipate a physical football game as it always is. Um, you know, we're excited to get back at it, you know, first thing Monday morning. And, you know, we'll, we'll start building the plan and you know, we'll be ready to roll next week. Well, and congrats on that win today and we'll see you next week. Thank you very much. Okay.